I'm the Disc Golf Guy and this is my video blog. Today I had the amazing experience of visiting the Vibram factory to see how Vibram Disc Golf Discs are produced. Let's catch up with Steve Dodge so he can explain the process. First we drop the rubber and all of the chemicals into the Banbury. After the Banbury mixes them up for five to eight minutes, making sure all the rubber is fully homogenized. It comes out of the bottom of the Banbury where it's worked on the mill for the final homogenization. The next day, the material is ready to be extruded into biscuits. First, we'll put it on the breakdown mill where we'll get it back up to temperature. Once it's warmed up, we'll send it across the conveyor belt to the feed mill. Once it's on the feed mill, we wait until it's at the right thickness. When it's the right thickness, we'll send the strips of rubber into the extruder. At the extruder, we chop the biscuits up into the designated weight. They check the weight of every seventh biscuit to make sure it's accurate. The biscuits get cooled down quickly in the water bath and then sent down so they're cool enough so that humans can touch them and load them onto the racks. It goes around this circular device, makes it cool enough so humans can put it on the racks. The biscuits are then weighed so that they are, uh, will come out the right weight when they're out of the mold. The label is put into the mold. The biscuits are put on top of the label. The press closes. 10 minutes later, the press opens, and we've got ourselves a disc. The flashing is ripped off. The disc is trimmed. It's put in the storage box and shipped to your local store. Then it's hooked and goes into the basket every time. And then you pull it out of the basket, and you have everybody sign it because you got an ace with it and they all owe you five dollars. You've already made money. Welcome to Bible and Disc Golf.